Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Advanced Firefox Features in Mozilla Firefox. In this tutorial, we will learn about Advanced Firefox Features, Quick Find Link, Firefox Sync, Plugins. Here we are using Firefox 7.0 on Ubuntu 10.04. Let us open the Firefox browser. By default, the Yahoo homepage opens. Now, let's learn about searching for links in Firefox. Firefox allows you to search for and find links within a web page. In the address bar, type www.google.co.in and press Enter. Notice that the cursor is now placed inside the Google search bar. Next. Click the cursor anywhere on the page, outside the search bar. Now, from the keyboard, press the apostrophe key. The Quick Find Links Only search box appears at the bottom left corner of the window. Inside this box, let's type Bengali. Notice that the link Bengali is highlighted. You can now search quickly and easily for links within a web page. Suppose you want to access the Firefox browser with your settings and preferences from any other computer or device, like your mobile phone. Would that be possible? Yes. The Firefox Sync feature stores all your browser data, like bookmarks, history, and installed extensions, securely on a Mozilla server. You can sync other computers to this server and so can access your browser data. Now, let's enable the sync feature. From the menu bar, click Tools and Set up Sync. The Firefox Sync Setup dialog box appears. As we are using Sync for the first time, click Create a new account. The Account Details dialog box appears. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have already created a Gmail account, st.userff at gmail.com. In the email address field, enter st.userff at gmail.com. In Choose a Password field, let's enter the password. In the Confirm Password field, re-enter the password. By default, the server Firefox Sync Server is selected. We will not change this setting. Check the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy box. Click Next. Firefox displays the Sync key. This is the key which you must enter in other systems to access your Sync from those machines. Click the Save button. In the Save Sync Key dialog box that appears, browse to the desktop. Click Save. The Firefox Sync Key.html file is saved as a HTML file in the desktop. Make a note of this key and save the number where you can access it easily. You will not be able to access your Sync account from other computers without entering this key. Click Next. In the Confirm You Are Not a Robot dialog box, enter the words displayed in the box. The setup is complete. Click on the Sync Options button on the left of the Firefox Sync Setup dialog box. You can set your Sync options here. For the purpose of this tutorial, we shall not change the default options. Click Done. Click Next. Firefox verifies the content, then the Finish button is displayed. Click Finish. You have set up Firefox Sync on your computer. And now, how do you access your browser data from another computer? You need Sync the other computer or device too. For the purpose of this tutorial, we shall list these instructions in slides. You can follow these instructions to sync your other computer or device. Open the Firefox browser in the other computer or device. From the menu bar, click Tools 
and set up Firefox Sync. Click I have a Firefox Sync account. Enter your email ID and password. Enter your Sync key. Click Finish. The other computer is also synced now. You can access your browser data from the other computer too. You can also save new bookmarks and change your preferences here. These changes will be automatically updated in the Sync Manager. Finally, let's learn how to sync your original computer with the updated data in the Sync Manager. Now, from the menu bar, click Tools. Notice that the Sync option now displays as Sync Now. You can click on it to sync your data with the Sync Manager. You may also want to delete your Firefox Sync account or clear your Sync data. How do you do this? This is simple too. Open a new browser. In the address bar, type https colon forward slash forward slash account.services.mozilla.com Press Enter. In the username, enter st.userff at gmail.com. Now, enter the password. Click Login. The Firefox Sync web page opens. You can now modify the Firefox settings and data. Let's log out of this page now. Now, let's learn about plugins. What is a plugin? A plugin is a software program that adds a specific functionality to the Firefox browser. How are plugins different from extensions? Plugins are programs created by other companies. Plugins integrate third-party programs into the Firefox browser. Plugins let you play videos, view multimedia content, perform virus scans, and power animation in Firefox. For example, Flash is a plugin you install to view videos in the Firefox browser. Let's view the plugins that are installed in Firefox. From the menu bar, select Tools and Add-ons. The Add-ons Manager tab opens. From the left panel, click Plugins. The right panel now displays the plugins that are installed on your computer. And how do you install plugins? Each plugin has to be downloaded from the relevant website and then installed on your computer. The installation procedure may be different for each plugin. To learn more about plugins available for Mozilla Firefox and instructions on how to install them, please visit the Mozilla website. Let's close this browser. To disable the plugin, simply click the Disable button. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned about Quick Find Link, Firefox Sync, and Plugins. Here is an assignment for you. Download and install three plugins for Firefox. Create a Firefox Sync account. Access your Firefox browser from another computer. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-NHRT, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.